Good day, XCOM fans. This is Delta Angel Fire here, ready to bring you another XCOM multiplayer match. Today's match we're going to look at is going to be between myself, Delta, and my opponent is going to be LP's Cap. We're currently playing ranked on the ladder, and I am running a 9700 point mixed alien squad, and my opponent is running a 9675 point soldier squad. As you can see, the squad I'm running today is running two heavy floaters, a thin man, and two sectoids for support. Now, the main goal of this build is to use the Heavy Floater's launch ability to get your units close enough to the enemy that they can lob their grenades while the enemy is still feeling safe and secure over in their corner of the map, hopefully keeping their units kind of grouped closer together. This is also going to be made possible by the ability that the Heavy Floater has called Bombard, which basically uh, about doubles the length that you can throw a grenade. I can see here we're going to try to deal with some of the uh, some of the launch controls, and it is really hard to aim, especially over in the corners and at the extreme distances that you want to get out of the launch ability. While launch does say you can get anywhere on the map with it, this is not entirely true, as you can see me trying to struggle here mightily just to get as far away as possible. In order to get the maximum distance you can with as little trouble as possible, you're going to want to scroll the camera up and out as much as you possibly can before trying this. Now what we're going to do here is, now that we've covered a good half of the map with the launch ability, we're going to have our floaters fly up, hopefully spot the enemy, and then lob their grenades at what appears to be the weakest point. Whatever will kill either the most units, or, if possible, what can kill the strongest units. Now we're using the Sectoids and the Thin Man to scout around first to see if we can get a good beat on his location. The Thin Man with his high mobility and his ability to leap onto rooftops being very handy here. And the Sectoids just trying to get into position and hopefully not trigger any overwatches that don't need to be. Now right here we can activate flight. You want to get up as high as possible and close to the enemy as possible, but still remain out of sight if you can. The big tool here is going to be using your grenades on vehicles. Now you can see that my opponent has a very strong super soldier right over here and the grenades are going to do a little bit of damage to that but it's also going to increase the damage because one grenade will take a vehicle or other destructible object and set it on fire and the second grenade is going to be what's going to cause it to blow up. This essentially gives you three grenades worth of damage only for the cost of two. Right here you can see the opponent has taken about, it looks like, 16 damage total. That was 5 from each grenade and 6 from the exploding vehicle. And he is taking his shelter where he can. And while he's doing that, my other units will be forming a kind of perimeter around him. So it'll be easier for my heavy floaters, which are going to be my main damage dealers, to do their thing and take him out. Now, among the support units, the sectoids we already know have... Uh, a decent attack power, but they're really more for sacrificial purposes. The Thin Man, however, uh, can do quite a significant amount of damage with his light plasma rifle, especially if he scores a critical hit. Now, while Sectoid support is pretty straightforward, since all they can really do is shoot or lay down covering fire, the Thin Man has choices. You can either use the Spit, like I did here, to try to weaken an opponent's stronger unit, in which case you're not really worried too much about the damage, but you're going for the reduced aim from the poison. Or you can have him use his Plasma Rifle. Now, the light Plasma Rifle that the Thin Man uses does a pretty average 6 damage. That might be even a little stronger than your average light Plasma Rifle on a soldier. But he also has good critical damage. If you want to just throw him right up next to the enemy and take that 100% shot, he can do up to 9 on a critical hit if he scores one. The other advantage of putting your Thin Man right next to the enemy troops is that if he happens to get taken out and your opponent hasn't moved yet, then the resulting poison cloud from his explosion might just do that extra 1 or 2 points of damage that you'll need to take out whatever is left over. Right here you see me running right up into his face taking a couple shots and taking him down. That six damage is always going to be quite useful. And then finally, we're going to move our heavy hitters, the heavy floaters into position, and take out his last troop. That's going to be it for this match, guys. That's the GG. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. As usual, I'll be posting the builds in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next mission.